y'all ever have those days where you know you have a bunch of stuff to do but you don't feel like doing it for some weird reason you just can't explain it just don't feel like doing anything <sighs> well that's me today but i have way too much stuff to do on this vehicle it's already four o'clock so i need to stop slacking and get to it so uh let's work on this car got struts got some motor mounts got some stuff inside some leaking power steering hoses and then of course an alignment so see how much we could get done before six So we're gonna start it off with these struts right here. And I did notice on that last video with the rebuild, um, the volume was in and out. It's because of the placement of the microphone that I have on my shirt. So now I have it placed a little different. And with the cat, the, was it, what do they call it? The cat fur on it. So now I have it like tucked inside out so it's not pushing up against my neck. So hopefully the audio is a tad bit better. Uh, what are these? They 17s, 18s, 19s? I'm going to say they're an 18. Oh, it's a 17. Damn. This is the first time in my career that I'm uh, actually doing some work on this car. Not this car, but this style of car. Usually it's airbag recall. So I'm finally... those things are on there tight so i'm finally doing something other than an airbag recall on this solid car so oh that just yeeted out that was fun come on get up get up get up there we go no wheel speed sensor that's nice now let's make our way to the other side we're going to do the same thing on this side oh come on so the thing about the stubby, it doesn't reach right. Oh, what do we have here? Okay, defeat. Fucking over tightened strut bolt is a half inch truly stronger. Claims to have 100 foot pounds more. Oh. Yes, it is stronger. And it's air. I hang that. Boom. All right, now we got to drop it down. Now, how skilled do you have to be to perform this repair? Shit. Quite honestly, anybody can do this at home. That for sure. I just have the privilege of having a lift where I'm at. Sorry if that drowned out what I was saying, but yeah, I, I just have the privilege of having a lift. Had this strut mount coming apart. I don't know if y'all can see it. Right in there. Oh no, y'all can't see. Okay, so right in here we had this strut mount coming apart. Right there. It's kind of sketchy. What if this thing just lets go? Well, yeah. Got some right there and right there. Let's see if y'all can see a little better you see it up in there if not uh, I'll take a picture of it but I'll grab the new one and put it on Ooh, warning do not remove yes do not remove that nut right there 
Duh. Well, I might be at a standstill. I don't know if y'all noticed, but on the other strut, this was on there. This one doesn't come with one. I didn't know it was something separate. I didn't even know this thing existed. Can I reuse it? it says it's a strut insulator. So I'm guessing to go against noise. Uh, if I put it on like that, I mean, it should work, right? But I'm gonna see if we have any of these in stock or if we can get some. And if we can, I'll put them on because obviously they're there for a reason. So with that being said, we'll just move on to the next one. That's the thing with working on old vehicles or vehicles that you've never worked on. The smallest thing can slow you down. Just like eh? I'm being slowed down right now. And I think that insulator thing just ripped on me. See, this one has it too. And you can see the strut mount is coming apart all the way around. All the way around. Jeez. Like I said, I'll add pictures of this stuff. That's crazy. But let me go check with parts real quick and then I will be back. Well, I'm such an idiot. I forgot to hit record. But we went ahead, put the strut on. We're using the old gasket uh, because there's none available right now. I'd rather reuse the old one than not have it on there at all. And if there is noise well then i'll just have to buy something off of ebay or make something out of something i don't know but we got the old one on there now uh it wasn't making noise for that before it was obviously the bushings were broke so that's why we're replacing them let's just hope that the other side does all right now i got these snugged up y'all missed it <laughs> i went to put the nut on well they changed it from a 12 to a 13 so i looked retarded right there let's go on to the other side and put the other side on now i was actually being told that i could leave that thing off but no way jose am i willing to do that because i do not have that kind of luck oh what totally missed the holes i can't get this lined up okay there's one I don't know what they're talking about over there. What car? Uh, there's, a, there's a Chevy Equinox. <laughs> oh, must be nice. I'm going to snug this up. Not too tight. I remember on my Cobalt, I did it. <laughs> Over tightened it and snapped the stud. <laughs> and I drove it like that. He's sketchy. Snug. Snug. These weren't even on there that tight. Now that we got that smitchiated, we can put strut bolts back in. Uh. Now watch this car ride higher because it got some new, uh, new struts in. New springs. Can y'all read that? Watch, I'll zoom in on it. California Proposition 65. That goes for you, Sergio, and Chris. <laughs> uh this strut can cause cancer did y'all know that if y'all didn't well i just told y'all i have a wheel speed sensor bracket also on this the hammer no it's not a hammer i'll get it in a minute oh give me What is that? I feel loose. No, it's good. And as we do one side, we must do the other. Y'all already know that. So let's get this strut in. We did the, oh, that one went in a lot easier. Use the panza pry bar. Too tight, remember it's a half inch. Oh fuck. Damn, string locked. That was kind of weird to line up. Oh come on. Fuck 
fucking steering wheel's locked, man. I forget that these older cars, oh my God, I just picked that up. I forget that these older cars have steering locks. Come on now. Ah, so used to modern cars not having that anymore. It's kind of annoying when you gotta lower the car back down, unlock the steering wheel. And all it is is so I can get back here and do that. The most simple thing can be irritating to technicians and mechanics because it's like, why? And there we go, the strut is done. No high skill required for this. You can do this in your driveway. I didn't tell you that though. All I am doing is showing my work. I'm not showing y'all how to do stuff. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. I am going to end this video off here. I need to, I got a, a message that I got to clean up. Um, join the FM fam down below if y'all like. Helps the channel. Starting to build up the official FM fam. So, like I said, if y'all care to join, join up. Got some perks. You get early videos without ads. Further on down the road, there will start to be only member only giveaways. So, we're probably going to start doing that at about the 50k mark so 50k mark member only giveaways we're gonna do what it do baby check these videos out right here subscribe right there we got merch down below and we are out of here deuce no negotiations, it's my way, I was born impatient And like a damn Freemason, I'll run this nation